I smell coming candy here. Who's that coming in my underwear? And who's that throwing those Reese's pieces at my erection? Mama, that chocolate make you scream. Yeah. Ah, anyways, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Cum Man and Candy Man, hence the song. You know, it's a little spin off of Sex and Candy. Good song all around, but I believe my version is the superior version. Anywho, Cum Man, really solid defender. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore with this shit. Anyways, the Cum Man, really solid defender. Um, don't underestimate his cum. His cum is as stale as that fucking cum sock you left under the back of your bed all those decades ago. We're gonna hit Kaido with this cum sword. Uh, actually, you know, um, you know those videos where, like, people make knives out of random shit, like fucking plaster scene to, like, harden it and make a knife? Well, in this case, we took that same sock I was referring to that we left cum-filled all those years ago crusted under the bed and we sharpen it into a goddamn Damascus steel fucking 17 layer edge blade. We're gonna put the cum blade in this lizard once again. He's not uh, doing too well here. We're gonna block his exit because this guy thought we were gonna run but we ain't no fucking bitch. We we're actually just blocking his uh, way out there so we can actually take him out the old way with a couple of cum socks. So that's uh, one lizard down. Hit him with that uh, Hit him with that angry face. Just, you know, wanted to let him know who's the boss. Uh, I'm going to go over here and fill up the second flag. Jesus, I, actually, I don't know what the fuck I was doing at the beginning of that video. I apologize, that foul song. Uh, I'm going to charge up the second flag and go into mid here. Uh, Come in actually has two shields, which is really unique for a, a, a character. This one in particular has like 150% of your HP, so basically what you see at the bottom, basically 30,000 HP plus 50%, which is really nice. And the uh, sword has, uh, I believe, 100% of your HP, so it's the exact same as your HP. Um, sword giving you a uh, attack buff, the, the big fucking cum wall. Uh, which is like looks like grandma's panties or something or maybe just like some tidy whities that you had a wet dream and at one point left those all crusty and shit under your bed as well you can see here it's like an upside down uh, set of underwear um, this one gives you a defense buff I believe also if you hit people with the third uh, look at that we just stabbed her with that cum sock again knocking the fucking walls down that's how hard those socks can become no pun intended uh, we're going to try to block off this entrance as well with our... There's <laughs> too much cum going on here. Uh, cum man is just... He's built different, as they say. She's looking to give me the old hand job multiple times. Um, trying to, you know, actually produce some of my world-famous uh, stone cum there. We ended up killing her with our cum sword. And uh, this bird is uh, flying in to try to take us out. I've never said cum this many times in my life. Um, if you hit people with <laughs> the third hit of your cum, <laughs> you, um, I believe you debuff them. And when you debuff your enemies, um, I believe your both your skills get a cooldown, which is really nice. Gonna actually put down our cum wall here again. Coming and blocking that king. Is he coming or going? I can barely decide. Just drank a fit the vodka. Damn it, a drive? I don't think you do. So that's a little W right there. We actually got the MVP, considering uh, we probably have the least meta team on the uh, field right now. Pretty damn nice. But anyways, here's the next match. We're going to take a look at Candyman. No more cum talk. We're going to be talking about candy. What's your favorite candy? Comment in the comment section below. I personally like edible undies. Used. Uh, actually, no, I like Reese's Pieces. Or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Or Reese's Feces. That's the uh, the uh, unlimited edition that um, they kind of took out of stores. So we're gonna try to hit this guy with the candy beam. Um, good thing about Candyman is I believe if you yeah. So like somehow he got knocked back into my uh, little candy puddle there, making his feet sheets of candy. So he got stuck to the ground like a little cockroach in a cockroach trap. Um, but uh, my favorite candy, personally, is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Anyways, back to the game. 
Uh, if you get hit with a stun attack, I believe it's like so, like when Luffy does his like uh, punches over and over again. There, I think it actually uh, turns him into candy. He automatically candyfies people when they do that. Zoro is not a good matchup for me unless I can actually connect with my uh, candy. So we're gonna try to play smart here because uh, that guy is gonna destroy us. Uh, good thing about Candyman is the skill one actually had. Look at that. We just created a nice candy swordsman, almost like a a push pop or something with two, with three push pop suction suckable things. Uh, gonna hit this Luffy with our candy here. Look at that long candified arm. Make him into a lollipop. Uh, per, you know, Peril Sparrow really likes to lick dudes and chicks that are candified. Uh, you know, who wouldn't though? It's just like unlimited candy. What can you say? The guy loves his candy. He's probably got a lot of cavities. F just most disgusting mouth on the planet. Uh, we're gonna try to hit these two fools with our uh, candy blast. We actually got, who is that, Shanks? Oh yeah, he's just a little candy man now. Candy cane man. Uh, Uta's actually not a good matchup for us either, but good thing about our skill one is it has like a, a wall similar to candy man, or cum man rather. Uh, so he gets like a really nice uh, uh, buff when it comes to like the um, HP. So it can defend you and it's hard to take down and chances are they won't take it down in time. It'll just kind of like fall over them and do fixed damage. We ended up getting killed by Uta there unfortunately. Popopilo, Popilolo, Populio, whoever that was. Coolio's cousin, Populio. Uh, we're gonna go down here with the come man. Seems like our flags are just being uh, taken by storm. We got, uh, who is that? Um, what what version of Sanji was that again? That was when he went to the sand land. Uh, I'm forgetting all my, getting all my uh, places here. My brain's just full of you know what right now. Um, Alabasta, Alabasta. Anyways, we got three flags back, 12 seconds left. We're, things are looking pretty damn good right now. I ended up getting another flag, which is nice. Um, hopefully we can just put the the, uh, the old cum knife into one of these fools before the end of the game, but unfortunately we couldn't. So, um, as you can see, these two can be played really, uh, really, like, they are pretty nice if you could play them well. You just gotta be smart. Parasparo is really good still. He never really, I mean, he fell off a little bit at that point when EX Shanks came out, but fuck him. Uh, it's good. He's good to play um, nowadays. He's even pretty good against uh, the new Yamato, which I got shafted on. Anyways, here's the skills and set. Uh, you know the rest. I mean, it's just kind of looking over the character. Feel free to stay. Anywho, that's it for me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.